Today, I'll show you how to blend colors to give a portrait a vintage film tone. Soft, natural, and reminiscent of classic film photographs. I'll use this image as an example, but the principle is the same. You can apply it to any photo. In this image, we can see it looks a bit dark and lacks depth. The reason is that the highlight area isn't bright enough. The histogram shows no data on the right side. To make it clearer, I first increase the exposure slightly, then move the white slider to the right until the histogram touches the right edge. You only need a small amount of pure white detail. Don't push it too far, otherwise the highlights will be blown out. And remember, everyone's monitor brightness is different, so don't rely entirely on your eyes. Only the histogram can tell if the light in your image is truly balanced. Classic film doesn't have harsh contrast like digital photos. It's soft, gentle, and keeps detail in both bright and dark areas. So I reduce the contrast slightly to narrow the gap between the brightest and darkest parts, avoiding that crushed black clipped white feeling, something real film never has. After this step, the image becomes smoother and softer. Film tones often carry a bit of green and yellow. I warm up the white balance slightly to give the overall image a soft golden cast, then add a subtle green tint to create that retro atmosphere. Just enough to feel it, no need to overdo it. Now move on to curves the most important part of any tone blend. Here, I only adjust the composite channel, not the individual RGB ones. Set three anchor points for shadows, midtones, and highlights. Then lift the shadow point slightly from the bottom left corner. When you raise the blacks, the darkest part of the image will no longer be solid black, but covered by a thin gray layer. That's the film gray base, a signature effect of imperfect film processing, bringing a natural and deeper look. Open the color mixer. Skin tones are usually in the orange channel, so I increase saturation slightly and shift the hue toward red. This makes the skin warmer and more lifelike. If it looks too strong, you can raise the luminance. It brightens the skin and naturally reduces saturation. This is where the true film mood comes from. In color grading, add a gentle green tint to the shadows, keep the saturation low, just enough to feel the color shift, and a warm orange-yellow tone to the highlight. After this step, the image already starts to show that soft, vintage film mood. In calibration, I slightly increase red primary to make skin warmer and more natural, reduce blue primary to make highlights softer and smoother, and reduce green primary to lessen the green cast and add a retro mood. Then I move red primary a bit more to the right. The skin becomes truer and warmer, just enough to get that film tone without any unwanted color cast. In effects, I slightly reduce vignette to make the center brighter and stand out more, then increase grain to break the digital smoothness, making the photo look like it was shot on real film. When you look closely, the texture feels more alive, more organic and natural. With this photo, you can also use the brush tool to paint over the brighter areas, adding highlights and giving the image more depth and dimension. Now let's look at the before and after. The result feels softer, warmer, and carries that vintage film mood beautifully. Now I'll copy this entire color adjustment and paste it onto another photo. You'll see the overall tone still keeps that film character. Warm, slightly green, and with a touch of grain. But since every image has different lighting and base colors, you'll always need to fine tune it a little for balance. That's the difference between a preset and an intentional tone blend. Film tones don't just depend on color grading, but also on the lighting and the overall scene. Images with strong highlights and shadows build the tone faster and deeper, while evenly lit photos produce a softer, lighter film effect. So not every image will fit a film tone perfectly. Once you understand this principle, you can blend colors more intentionally to match each scene. Like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Thanks so much for watching till the end.